You know the day destroys the night Night divides the day Try to run, try to hide Break on through to the other side Break on through to the other side Break on through to the other side, yeah Hi, everybody. Welcome to Stand Up Motivations. I'm Vanessa Klinger, your intuitive life strategist and your life coach motivator. Welcome to season three, episode two, Gratitude, key the key to maintaining your humility. I wanted to share this with you guys because of the experiences that I've been having by operating from a place of gratitude. And um, I'm so excited about it because you I feel as if I finally have um, stepped into this space where things are really starting to happen for me. And I wanted to share them with you because I want the same for you. I want you to finally get into this space where things are starting to happen, not to you, but for you. It takes a lot of uh, practice. It takes a lot of patience. It takes a lot of persistence. It takes a great deal of prayer and motivation. It takes a great deal of uh, being open to all the possibilities and how you can receive what you need when you need it. That's the key. And I think that as you having these experiences, when uh, you are, are encountering these episodes of transformation is what's going to teach you and help you to be more sensitive to your surroundings so that you can finally get into this groove, right? This, this, this melody, this harmonic space of your existence. And the way to do that is through gratitude. Now you're saying, Oh, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for all I have. Yeah. But you know, are you really feeling it? I mean, are you really in the space where you can actually just take a beat and say, I'm really grateful? Or, you know, you have to work your way into it, you know? And you know, and you know when you're in that space because it just seems to be very fluid and very harmonic, right? And I have to tell you that the only way that I was able to get into this space was I had a lot of experiences where I had nothing, you know, where I had worked myself up into a frenzy of blocking every iota of any provision. And it was me, you know, I assumed full responsibility of that. It wasn't the devil. Okay, let's just not even discuss that. It wasn't uh, anyone else. It was me. I blocked my blessings by allowing fear, anger, anxiety to all the negatives to block, you know. And when you are in that space, when you are sending out that vibration of fear, stress, worry, anger, you're blocking it. You're actually clogging up these portals for things to flow to you. If you can work yourself out of that and work your way up and raise your vibration and and shift and move the, the fluidity of your life where the energy is actually flowing better for you, then you can change your life through gratitude. Once you're in that space, then you can actually, and I'm gonna give you a good good example. I remember years ago when I was in that, I was just, you know, an emotional wreck and barely, barely getting by and just having nothing, you know, and I really wanted to be a better person. I wanted to please God. I wanted to do all of these things. Yet I had nothing, I was lacking. I was like, and I was working and making money, but it was never enough, right? It was never enough. So I remember I said, you know what? I'm just gonna be grateful for what I have. And I remember as I was eating my ramen noodles and before I would sit down to eat, I would say, thank you for this glorious feast. And I would say that, you know, and I really meant it because I was grateful for that. 
I had no idea that what I was doing was I was transforming and shifting and, and, and uh, my vibration to a place of actually sincerity, right? Um, as time evolved, the food got better. And yet I still continued saying, thank you for this glorious feast. And now, you know, I can actually say that there's no lack in my life. I eat what I want to eat when I want to eat it, how I want to eat it. You know, I mean, of course, you know, you have to have wisdom <laughs> when it comes to things like that. But needless to say, I... There's no, there's no more lack in my life. I can actually just sit down to whatever it is, a boiled egg, a ribeye steak, whatever it is, and actually just feel the gratitude. And you know, they say that, um, you know, you, you, you tend to forget God when you're in this area, uh, in this space of abundance. I tend to disagree. I really do, because I think that once you come from a place of lack and, and torture, you know, emotional, spiritual torture, where you've actually just, just messed yourself up to the point where you just don't even want to exist anymore, and then you finally get into this space where things begin to happen for you, the gratitude is even more powerful because it is sincere, it's truthful, and you're able to just really, really, really just draw those things to you. You can be sitting there saying, just saying, you know, well, I really would like to do this. And within a short amount of time, it, it presents itself to you. I've had many experiences like that before where, oh, I would love to have this or I would love to have that. Sure enough, if you're in this space, you're going to draw it to you. It will seek you. You know, when you finally get in this place of gratitude, your blessings will literally chase you down. I mean, you don't have to run after your blessings when you're in the space of gratitude. They come after you. People, there's this, um, there's this uh, quote from the alchemist and it says, when you really, really want something, the universe will rise up to meet you. And that's true. And what I got, the, the way I interpreted that is based on my experiences, is that when you really, really want something and you allow yourself to be ushered, what we talked about last week, ushered into this new season of your life, the season where things begin to work for you, the season where, you know, um, you begin to manifest and draw things to you, there will be people, these actors in your play called life, who are actually eager to want to help you eager to want to bring things to you, eager to want to help shift and move and guide you to that space of where you really want to be. Gratitude. It's vitally important that you practice gratitude. Now, if you think, oh, I'm grateful and all this stuff. No, no. If it's something that you're not experiencing, where it's not really sincere, uh, and you know it, only you would know that inside then uh, I challenge you to get into the habit of feeling grateful, not just, you know, saying you're grateful, but feeling grateful. Get into the habit of that where you can actually remember. I remember when I had nothing and now I have this. And it may just be something, you know, minute and minimal to someone else, but to you, it's more than what you had three seconds ago. I had some wonderful experiences this week. A classmate of mine came to visit and we had such a glorious time together. And it was such a rewarding time for me because we were able to share and, um, you know, there's a sweetness about when you, there's a sweetness that will be about your persona. If you, you know, have, experience trying times in your life and you come out of it alive, there's a sweetness there about your persona and your character and your personality that people just tend to, you know, enjoy. They want to be around you. And I experienced that with my classmate this week. She's just the sweetest person. And, uh, and it goes back to me, what I was saying that as you continue to evolve, then the people in your life will mirror who you are. And it was as if I was just hanging out with myself. 
a great experience. So I challenge each and every one of you that if you want to stay in this place of humility, which serves as a magnet to attract the things that you want to do, be, and have, gratitude. Practice the gratitude, but practice it with sincerity by feeling it. The practice comes when you start to feel grateful. And when you start to feel grateful, you open up these portals in your world that will draw all the things that you want to do, be, and desire. Thank you guys so much for this uh, listening in. Uh, I hope that this was something that uh, is useful for you. I'm so grateful for just all of you just sending in your messages to me and uh, Hopefully, uh, we will continue with this by providing you with the topics that are going to be rewarding for you, that's going to be helpful for you, that's going to help to awaken who you really are. And uh, so grateful for you guys just tuning in. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share um, to all of your friends. Uh, I'm Vanessa Klinger, your intuitive life strategist and life coach motivator. Thanks so much, guys, for tuning in. And remember, stay in love. You know the day destroys the night, night divides the day, try to run.